Over the past month, we have been bombarded with everyone including me talking about Cursor, an AI code editor which can greatly elevate your coding experience. Particularly, everyone was in love with the Composer feature a part of Cursor, which will allow developers to provide high-level instructions for creating entire applications or making complex multi-file changes. The AI interprets these instructions and generates or even modifies the necessary files and codes it out for you. People were practically creating full stack apps end to end with the composer feature after providing context and a few prompts. This is why many are in love with it. Only issue is, it's a paid service which only is accessible for a certain amount of prompts and then it would require you to pay $20 a month which might be expensive for many. However, I showcase many alternatives on this channel such as Pair AI, a VS Code alternative with Cloud Dev, as well as ZAI which are great free open source alternatives to Cursor and I'll leave links to those in the description below. Now you may be wondering, why make another video on Cursor Composer? Well, the reason is because Cursor came out with a new update, which is a 0.41 update, and it brings several key improvements. You have the tab Python auto import feature. You have many different composer upgrades, such as notepads, as well as many other things, such as an AI panel. You have performance in enhancements. You have remote SSH, as well as many other fixes. And this is something that we're going to be exploring one by one with a couple of examples as we go further into the video. So with that thought, let's get straight to it now for the people who do not have cursor i definitely recommend that you try this out because this is a great id that's completely for free other than apart from the cursor composer feature you can simply just download it for your operating system by clicking on this button which will install the installer and you're going to be able to access many of these cool features such as code gen you have multi-line edits you have smart rewrites you have the ai chat component where you can chat with the models to basically generate your code you can use images as the web as well as utilize the control okay feature which can basically edit and write code with ai now for the people who have cursor installed already i want you guys to take a look at the bottom left corner to update cursor you can simply click on this and it's going to automatically install the update for cursor this will install all the requirements for the new 0.41 update and it will simply open it back up once it finishes installing so now let's take a look at all the new improvements and features starting off with the composer now there's a lot of new updates to it that makes it more efficient and effective especially with the new ux originally you were able to uh, just use the control or command shift i command to open up this panel which is obviously going to still be around but now you're going to be able to access it within the right hand panel where the ai chat was so if you are to basically press control or command i you're going to have the smaller panel but if you are to press command or control d you're going to be able to access it within that right hand panel alongside with the ai chat so you're going to be easily able to access the composer on this right hand panel Panel. Along with this, say if you are to basically uh, improve or add context, you're going to be able to access all of these different files a part of your app or your folder and you're going to be able to easily access all of these files within this panel. Now there's another new feature regarding the apply and the composer feature which is going to be slightly faster in this release. So for example if you go to the components this is just a random app that I've created and if I was to basically ask it improve the code within this page uh, you can just reference the button you can then simply click enter and once it generates the code you can simply just click on the apply button and it's going to easily and fastly apply the changes directly into your page so simply it will then provide the code and you're going to be able to then simply click on this apply button which will easily be able to be implemented into your page now those are just small features that improve the speed as well as the UX of the composer. Now say if we are to toggle this back into this bar, you're going to be able to see that they also improve the prompt styling as well as they added a new thing which is called checkpoints. This is something that will basically easily structure your overall prompts as well as the generations that is completed by cursor. So if you are to tell it create a new page to maybe uh, separate 
the report so basically this app has a stock analysis app that will give you analysis on different stocks and i wanted to create another page for the reports so now i have this new page created with the checkpoint and essentially what this new checkpoint feature in the cursor 0.41 update is that it will significantly allow you to set various checkpoints within composers workflow so this way it's going to act as a safe point during the code generation as well as the modification of this process if you are to revert this it will basically take back what it had generated and go back to the previous release to showcase this feature what i'm going to do is generate another bit with composer so you can see that there's two prompts that i sent in one was to improve the code within this page and the next one was to create a new page and say if i was to click on the checkpoint it will actually revert to the previous one so if you click on checkout it will reset all the files to this point in the conversation and not implement the new uh, improvements so you can just simply click on this and it'll revert it back so this way you're going to have better uh, control over your code it's going to give you more flexibility as, as well as showcasing the ability to recover uh, past checkpoints so this is pretty big in my opinion if you're a developer and you're constantly developing and iterating with cursor the cool thing with this new composer panel is that you can actually move it to another window it's actually on my second screen at the moment and this way you can basically have it so that you can easily code with another panel on the right hand side and then you can code with the main com composer panel within cursor now going back into the main composer panel which is control or command shift i you're going to be able to see the notepad feature now what this actually is is something that was previously known as projects and it has like basically undergone a new significant upgrade with this new update where you can tag specific files within a notepad so if you are to create a new project let's just name it world of ai and you're going to be able to specifically tag certain components as well as reference the project directly in both the chat and the composer tool itself this is going to allow for smoother workflows and it's going to enhance the ability to manage and reference multiple files so this way you can make it way easier for you to actually add tagged files and it could be called upon while generating or modifying code quite easily with this feature this new tab feature is gonna basically auto import symbols into Python files. So this will basically enhance the way you can use the tab feature. It's gonna bring more stability, which can automatically import these symbols. And other than that, you also have these small things such as the ability to have cursor ran on a remote SSH. This is a good new support feature and that's practically it for the new 041 feature this is something that will greatly enhance the composer it's going to add more efficiency it's going to be something that you can get started with right away so definitely recommend that you check this out huge props to the cursor team for continuously working on improving their platform i'll leave all the links as to what i use in today's video in the description below make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can access different subscriptions to ai tools completely for free follow the twitter page for free daily ai news i'm continuously trying my best to upload different types of research papers new things that are happening in the ai space so definitely give this a follow and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas